Hey friends, I wanted to come on here real quick. Um, so I filmed this whole video of this daily look, kind of unboxing, try on first impressions. And I wanted to come on here real quick because after I finished that video, I realized something and kind of a little mad, kind of a little upset. So I figured I'd come on here and give you guys an update and basically a warning. And I retitled this, I was originally just gonna call it daily look, but I retitled it, do not. I don't even know what I'm going to call it at this point, but basically warning, warning, warning if you're looking into the subscription box of Daily Look. So I went ahead and did my my order and I'll put I'll keep the, re the rest of the video on here. So in case you aren't interested, but I ended up purchasing two different jeans on there. One of them was, I think, 90 or $100. The other one was $128 and they were from a brand called Flying Monkey and I love them. I will put a little picture right here. So loved them. They fit me perfectly. I had never heard of the brand before, but I really, really like the way that they fit my body because I am pear shaped. So I do have bigger, you know, smaller waist, bigger butt and thighs. And it is really hard for me to find jeans that work for my body type without getting hemmed. I usually have to get the back hemmed. And I was really, really excited about these because they fit my body so well. So I went ahead and purchased them, sent everything back. Um, and it ended up being like $228 or something like that. And then I got the 30, um, yeah, it was $228. And then I got the 30% credit because you get the credit, like it's a styling fee of $30 and then they credit it back if you purchase anything. So it was a significant amount of money. Um, but I went ahead and sent it all back. And then my husband, I was wearing them one day. My husband's like, I really like those jeans on you. Like they look really, really good. So I'm like, mm, Okay. So I went online and I started looking for the brand Flying Monkey and I was shocked. I think I found a boutique, kind of a boutique, and they were selling for $70 and I was like, okay, well maybe that's wholesale, whatever. So then I just went to Google and did another general search and I found Buckle. So there's a Buckle in my mall, but Buckle was selling Flying Monkey jeans for around $70 as well. And I was like, what the heck? I just spent $128 on these suckers. So I found these jeans right here. These are from Buckle. They're pretty much the same, pretty much the same pair of jeans that I got from Daily Look. $40, $58 less, almost $60 less. I could have gone to Buckle and purchased the pretty much the same exact pair of jeans, but I overpaid $58. I am so upset. So. I just wanted to come on here real quick and let you guys know that. And if you're going to try out this brand, be sure that you check prices, you cross reference prices to make sure. Now it could be Flying Monkey only sells this particular jean to daily look, but you know what? I would much rather go to Buckle and buy a similar pair of jeans that almost look identical to this and pay $58 less. Like I don't care. I'm not name brand specific. Um, and I don't care that I'm promoting daily look. I don't care about that. All I care is getting a good pair of jeans for as cheap as possible. And I could have saved myself $58. So if you're buying this subscription box, be mindful. And actually it makes me call into question any subscription box. So I'm canceling daily look because I'm really, really upset. Um, I'm going to stick to stitch fix because that one I liked a little bit better anyways, but I will be regardless of what company I go to, I'm definitely going to be looking at the prices and cross referencing them before I actually purchase them. Because right now, Everything is so expensive, every little dollar counts. And I just am really, really disappointed that a company would do this and charge that much over. Again, it could be that this is a special gene that's just specifically for daily look, but that's a lot of money. Like if it was $20 more, I'd be like, okay, not that big a deal. $58 more is ridiculous and it is should not be, accept. it's not acceptable and it should not be tolerated. So that is my PSA, hopefully that helps. I will leave the rest of the video in case you're interested in seeing the try on and the lovely pair of $128 overpriced jeans that I got. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new, my name is Dee. I'm a Saint Beauty artist and a lover of all things beauty. So I'm really excited today because I am trying out a new subscription service, a clothing subscription service, styling subscription, I guess, I don't know. So I've done two different videos like this. I've done a Wannable and a Stitch Fix subscription. I will leave those down below. This is daily look. So 
I, I'll be honest with you, the reason why I chose to do Wannable and Stitch Fix first before this brand or this company, because their advertising to me was a little bit more appealing. Wannable had this absolutely gorgeous pink blazer that drew, drew me in. Stitch Fix had a lot of cute clothes. But I'll be honest, when I looked at the advertising for daily look, there wasn't anything that super, like it wasn't super intriguing. The only reason why I did it was it kept popping up and I was like, okay, well, let me try another subscription service. Um, just, just to kind of compare them and whatever one I like the best or does the best, then I'll just go with that one. So their advertising was a little wonky, um, or just like, wah, wah, like nothing really intrigued me, but what did intrigue me and what I'm really excited about is their quiz was the most in-depth quiz out of all three of them. So comparing Wannable and Stitch Fix, the daily look, or their, they call themselves the DL, DL box, um, their quiz was super in depth. So usually they ask like standard things like weight, height, and um, you know, would you say your body is, uh, per, uh, you know, square or pear or curvy or whatever it is. Um, Wannable, I think, asked for a Pinterest board. Stitch Fix did not. Daily Look did, but they had such an in depth quiz thing. Like I want to say it took at least ten minutes to do. And they asked questions that were not just weight and height, but it was like, hey, are your long, your arms longer, short, or neutral? Is your torso long, short, or neutral? Is your leg, are your legs long, short, or neutral? Like, what would you describe them as? And I thought that was really cool because I'm 5'4", but I have short legs compared to my body. So I have short legs, a longer torso, and my, my arms are neutral. So I just thought it was really kind of in-depth but to me, I hold this brand to the highest standard because they know pretty much everything about my body. Um, I think they also did a really good job of asking what kind of style was. They had the standard, you know, what would you like or tell your stylist about your, you know, style and all that stuff. So I think those were comparable, but just the questions that end up, the questions they asked about specifics were, it was refreshing and I was really excited about it. So. The one thing I would say first off the bat, the first con about it is the shipping did take a lot long, a long time to get to me. So with Wannable and Stitch Fix, it was pretty quick. I want to say I got the box within like the first seven days, filled out the quiz, and I always do them on the weekend, so I never count the weekend days. But I want to say like the Wannable box was mailed that Monday, and I got it like a couple days later, similar to the Stitch Fix. With Daily Look, it took like two weeks. By the time I filled the quiz out and then the time I got the box, it was like a two, almost three week timeline. And then they shipped, you know how you get notification when the shipping label, like, oh, your item shipped, but then you go get the status and it's like, no, the label was created. The label sat there in label created mode for at least a week. And so I kept going in there every day to the tracking thing to see if it had shipped and it hadn't. And I was like, come on, because I was excited about it. Like, I was like, okay, I wanna get my box and everything. But if it takes almost three weeks to get it, like two to three weeks, it was almost like I forgot about it a little bit. So, I mean, I was still excited when I got it, but if it's, I would say if you're definitely looking for something, if you have an event or you're wanting it like right now, you're gonna have to wait a little bit. So that's probably the, the first con that I have about the box is the length that it took to do the shipping. So I got my box, I opened it up, I opened it up, but the box is literally falling apart. Like, I don't know what in the world they did. But on top of it was these little things right here. So it's very similar to the other subscription brands. You have what you, you know, you have your thing, you have your note from your stylist, um, and then you have a return label and you basically keep what you want. I do believe there's a credit that you get. Um, okay. So here it's don't miss out on your exclusive offer. Get 50% off one item when you keep three and 50% off two items when you keep five. Discount applies the lowest cost items and will automatically be applied at checkout. Um, so pretty much standard, all of them have that styling fee and then the styling fee is used towards the box for whatever you get. So it is five days to return it. So you have five days to try them on, five days to return it. And then it does have a bag in here and then it does have the shipping label to return it. So this is shipped by UPS, not a big deal, but I like, I think Stitch Fix and Wannable were from USPS, the United States Post Office, which is a heck of a lot easier because I can just drop it off here. I have to find the UPS location. 
not that big, big of a deal, but it's just like, mm, I wish it was the post office because I could just stick it in my mailbox and my post person could take it. Um, so the one thing that is different between Warnable and um, Stitch Fix, and I hate to compare it with it, but I know those two. So if you're somebody who's tried those two, kind of want to do a little bit of a comparison. And I will do a comparison video of all three of them and kind of take you guys through the pros and cons of all three that I personally think. But the big difference is you've got five days, with Stitch Fix and Wannable, they actually gave you a card that had the prices on there. With Daily Look, there's no card. You have to actually go, and they do a QR code right here, but you actually go and you can't see the prices of this stuff until you put the QR code in. Not a huge big deal, and you check out. Like with the Stitch Fix and Wannable, you just shove everything you don't want in the box or the bag, you ship it back, and then whatever you kept, they'll just um, deduct it or they'll just charge you for it. With here, you actually have to check out. Not that big of a deal, but I do kind of like having the, the thing here instead of like, just so I'm like, okay, this is good or this is good and I have it on my body and I'm looking at the price and justification. Cause sometimes I'll try something on and I'm like, oh my gosh, I like it. And then I'll look at the price and I'm like, mm, don't look at that much. I'm gonna have to, you know, I don't know, keep it open or whatever. So not a big deal, but it is a little bit different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my camera up and I'm going to try on the items and then kind of give you guys my first impressions. So let's go ahead and do the try on. So here's the first thing. This is a chambray top right here. Um, it's see-through right here. So I have a new bra on so you can't see it. So it's got that little design. It's got these ruffle sleeves here. I feel like it's kind of like a high-low look. It's a little bit cut right there. It's not bad. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't mind it. It's not something that I normally would gravitate towards, but I do like how effortless it looks. And I do like it paired with these jeans, kind of the contrast. So it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. It is a very nice fabric. Like it's very, very light. When I had put in my notes for the stylus, I said that I'm looking for like the zoom work appropriate tops. I wanted something comfortable, but I wanted stuff that I can transition to the office. Um, and I wanted something that I was looking for a pair of jeans that would help me transition into the, I could wear to the office and I could wear, you know, out and about or whatever. So those were kind of the things that I said. So this chambray top is $72. This is one that I'm gonna have to sleep on because I do like it and I do kind of like the flowiness and stuff like that. And I do like the fact that it's casual, but I do, I feel like I could dress it up and it's something that I could, I could wear to, to church and feel comfortable in, but $72 just seems pretty pricey. So these pants right here, I'm gonna kind of go back back hopefully you can see them so they're mid-rise so they come up to right here um, they are stretchy I think they look really really nice I love the color on them because this is definitely something that I could wear at night or you know go, go to the office but I could also wear on the weekend so I could dress it up and dress it down I don't know if you can see my cuffs here so it is cuffed, which I think is super, super cute. Or I could get them hemmed if it was, um, if I wanted a little bit more. But I really, really like these jeans. They fit really, really well. These are the brand Velvet, no, Vervent, Los Angeles. I don't know, I've never heard of them. They retail for how much? 108, which is, I feel like it's standard for jeans. Like I feel like it's not that crazy, but the fact that they fit me and they're cute when they're cuffed and I don't have to get them hemmed and they're stretchy, they're comfortable. Like I, they're tight, they look tight, but they don't feel that tight. I don't know, yeah. So I definitely, right off the bat, I, I like these. It's very, very hard for my body style to find jeans that actually fit me. So when I find them, I'm like, okay. And I'm willing to pay $100 for a pair of jeans that fit me good. So these are mine now. Okay, so here is the next top here. So I like that it covers up my butt. I like that it's big here, but I don't feel like it accentuates anything because it has this, it kind of flows out. Now I'll be honest with you, this is not a top that I normally would gravitate towards. That Not necessarily, I don't like the print. That's the first thing. I don't like the print. I feel like it looks very dated. Um, it reminds me of something that I would probably wear in the 1990s, like this just kind of brown mauve -y, like I don't even know look. 
Um, I don't like the print, but the style itself, like this reminds me, I would never purchase it or never try it on normally because it kind of reminds me of those baby doll shirts that were super popular and then I got pregnant. I had two kids and that's all I would wear because those are pregnancy shirts is basically it's tight up here and then you have like, you know, room down here for the growing belly. And so for the longest time, I've never worn this because I just always felt like I looked pregnant. Um, but after wearing this, like putting it on, I'm like, oh, I actually like it. I like the flowy kind of like the dolman sleeve. It cinches here, but it's not super tight. Um, I don't like how low it is. I would like it just a little bit cinched up, but I could always put it here. So this style, I actually am really excited about because I never knew that I would like this style, style shirt. I wish it was in a different color. If it was neutral, if it was just a plain color with no pattern, or if it was like a fun kind of vibrant thing that I would hands down get it. But this, this print just does nothing for me. So this flower top is $78. I mean, there's no way that I'm going to pay $70, $78 for it. Like I said, if it was a different print that I actually liked, I would really, really consider it because I do think it's super, super cute. And again, especially with these jeans, like I feel like the chambray shirt, this right here with these jeans, I have two outfits I look put together. They're still very, very comfortable, which is another thing that I told the stylist was I wanted pieces that looked like I was put together, but I was still comfortable. Things that I can move in and I didn't feel like I was being like sucked in or like too, you know, like some of the wrap tops and all that stuff. I'm like, oh, I feel claustrophobic. So I like where they would go. She was going with this. I like the style. I like the fact that I was opened up to something I normally wouldn't pick but I just don't like the print, so I won't be picking this one. Okay, so here's the next one. Just a kind of simple top. It's got this little, what the heck? No, it feels as though something, like it's not supposed to sit like this. Maybe that's the way, okay, whatever. So it's a little bit short, like I feel like it's gonna get stuck. It's not that big of a deal. It's got that wrap thing, which I like, because I feel like it cinches everything instead it's just flowy. Um, don't mind it in the back. I love the sleeves. I like this kind of cut because for me, I feel like it caps my arms off and I think it feels like my arms a little bit like smaller than they actually are. I think it makes my chest look good. I like the scoop, you know, this neckline. So everything about this is good. The only problem I have with it is it's $72. And I would tell you guys what the brands are, but to be honest with you, the brands, like there's stuff I've never heard of before. I don't know. Like if I notice any brand that I actually recognize, I'll tell you guys, but I don't know what this brand is. But I like the way it cinches up like that. Like it's just a little bit unexpected. It's not like a normal t-shirt. Um, Cause I usually on the weekends, I throw on a t-shirt and I'm like, okay, I'm done. But I like the fact that this is a little bit more elevated. It's airy. So it'll, perfect for Texas, but for $72, I just don't think I can do it. I just don't think I can do it for $72. It's just not that worth it for me. Okay, so here's the next shirt. It actually buttons here, but I can never button those things. And it's long, but it's like asymmetrical. So it stops here and it goes here, which I think is super, super cute. I like the length of it. I don't feel like it adds too much bulk, but you can see my bra here. I don't like that. Like, I almost feel like it's a little bit too big. It is a medium, but I just feel like it's, if it was just a little bit like this, I would like it a little bit more, or you know, it could be a little bit flowy, but I just feel like it's just a little bit too big. Um, this one right here retails for $72. Um, I like the mock. I like everything about it. I absolutely love the color, obviously. Um, but I just, like, I just feel like it's a little bit too big. It doesn't really, like right here, just doesn't really fit me very well. Um, and again, $72. Like, I don't know, maybe it was just super cheap or something, but I can't spend almost $100 Other on thing. a shirt. They sent as a blazer. So at first, I thought it was a cardigan. Um, but when I looked at the description, it says it's a blazer. Let me see what this looks like. So right off the bat, I don't like this here. I just feel like I'm so covered up. I feel like a nun or something like that. 
Um, it feels really, really nice. I don't know what it's made out of. It's probably Modal. I always say it. No, it's polyester spandex. So it's nothing like not anything fancy, but it does feel really, really good. It has that cardigan feel. I like the way it comes in here. It gives it a little bit. It's not just like a regular thing. I would not call this a blazer. To me, this is a cardigan, but the biggest thing for this is it's $128. It's not even, I mean, it feels nice, but for $128, I can go to White House Black Market and spend $128 on like a real blazer that is structured is going to last. This is a glorified cardigan. Okay, so next are these jeans. I'm going to go back. So they're a little bit higher waisted. I would still say that they're a little, you know, like medium waist. Look at that. They make my butt look so good. I love the wash. I love the tightness. They're still stretchy. I love the cuts in them, but they're not like super, super cut. But what I like the most is this thing right here. Like the way, I don't know if you can see it. Like they're cut at the cuff of the pants, which I have never worn before, but they're like regular at the, the back, but then like French at the bottom. I think it's so, so cute. These retail, these are Flying Monkey. I've never heard of them. They retail for $128, but you guys, this is where I'm like, holy crap. And I'm a little out of breath because I just put jeans on. But anyways, I have never in my whole entire life been able to try on jeans and 100% of them fit. Two jeans, both of them fit perfectly. There's no gap in here. They feel like no gap here. They're not super tight, but yeah, I feel sucked in. They are stretchy, but they're not like, I, I don't feel like they're inappropriately tight. Like they feel super, super comfortable. I love the feeling of them. I love the way they look on me. I love the way that they're different. I have never in my whole entire life been able to find jeans and both of them fit. Like usually I try on 10, 15 pair of jeans and maybe if I'm lucky, one or two of them will fit. But 100%, like that's crazy. So that to me makes this whole box worth it because I just found two pairs of jeans that I absolutely love that are super cute that are completely different. So here's the next one. This is a, I don't know what they're calling it, but it is basically a sweater feel. It's a ribbed kind of sweater. Um, obviously I would take the straps off, but this is not something I would wear. I do have to say when I put it on and I'm in my underwear, so just gonna go like that. Um, it is longer than what I thought it was going to be. So that's a plus. It does have a stretchy feeling. It feels amazing. Like if it was a regular shirt or even like a quarter sleeve or something like that, I would 100% get it because I love the ribbing detail. I think even though it's subtle and you can't see it, I think it does a really good job of elongating you, especially with black, like black itself is slimming, but that ribbed thing just seems, and it elevates the sweater. Like it just takes it up a notch. Um, but I just don't like this cut sleeve. The other thing I don't like about it is it's $65. Okay, so next is a maxi. And I do like the thought behind kind of giving some versatile with the pant, the jeans and some shirts and a blazer and all that stuff. And then a couple of dresses. Like I like that there's options in there. Um, I do not like how low cut it is. This is not something that I could wear anywhere. Um, the only thing that I would wear this to is if I was going on vacation, maybe to like a nice restaurant or something like that, or if I was at the beach because it is open in the back. Um, but I don't, I don't have any vacations planned, so that's not going to happen. It is that spandexy feeling. So, um, it, but it's thick, like it's not like stuff. I always think of like Ross and TJ Maxx where you can get some of the stuff and it's just kind of like that slinky, like spandex stuff. This is not it. It definitely is thicker. It feels much more luxurious. I do like the cut of it, but I just think it's a little bit too, like I can't wear this out and I wouldn't wear it out anywhere. But I like the way that it looks and I would wear a different bra to like push my babies up. Um, but like I said, it's open in the back. I don't hate that. Um, but what I like about it is look at that. Like it takes my body. It like is the perfect 
silhouette for my body. It accentuates the smallest part and then it just gently hugs my hips to where I just look like, like I just look so skinny, look at that. So I really like that. The other thing is it does have the slits, which I'm not a huge fan of, but they're not like open. So they once in a while they'll come open so it's not bad. I feel like my butt is nice and like smooth. Like it smooths out everything. I don't notice any divots or bumps or you know things like that. So I actually really, really like it. Um, the problems I have with it is, first off, it's $138, so it is the most expensive thing here. My boobs are hanging out. Um, but the second thing is, I don't know where I would wear it. There's nothing that I would be able to wear this to. Okay, so this is the last thing. This is a Mindy dress. It retails for $78. Um, it's a no. Um, I... Don't mind the color. I think the color is actually really pretty and I do have green eyes. So I do like wearing green because it does accentuate my eyes and make them pop a little bit more. I don't mind this right here and I don't mind it until it gets here, but you can see my mama bump. Um, not mama bump. I'm not pregnant. It's my fupa, but you can see my belly button. Like I don't want people to see my belly button. Like it's too, even if, well, I guess if I sucked it in, you can't see my belly button anymore, but that's just not. But then the other thing is, like, I feel like for my body type, this doesn't do me justice. Like, you can see every single curve, but you can see my gigantic saddlebags. So with the other dress, I felt like it really did a good job of, like, brushing it. So it made me look slimmer. Here, I feel like it accentuates my saddlebags um, and just is not the look that I'm going for. It's just too tight. Um, it is short, which I did put it in there that I did not want to show my legs. So this is kind of a, uh, I don't know where this was kind of the, the I, don't, I don't know what was behind this thought, but I do have to say with the jeans, I'm willing to overlook this, this, disaster right here because the jeans are 100% spot on. And I did specifically ask for jeans that I could go night, you know, office to casual stuff with and I 100% can with those. So I'm willing to overlook this disaster right here. So that is it. Um, I think the only things that I'm going to keep are the jeans. That's enough. I felt like the prices were a little bit too high. I felt like Stitch Fix and Wannable were a little bit more affordable where the tops were I want to say like in the 40s, 50s, and maybe a little bit 60s, um, I'll pay that if I really like the top, but I can't pay $70 for a top. I just, I'm just too ch cheap for like that. So I don't know if that's a standard thing here. If maybe if I say, hey, I'm only looking for tops that are in, you know, between 30 and $50, maybe I'll see and give it another try and see um, if they can customize that. But I just, I don't know. That was the biggest thing for me. It was just a little bit too expensive. So let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Until next time, bye.